everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be making a Barbie dress and we're going to start that in just a minute. Hi everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be making a Barbie dress. You are going to need a 2.5 millimeter crochet hook. You're going to need a pair of scissors, a darning needle, and a snap or a snap tool, which is something new that I got, which we're going to try out in this video. Um, so we're going to start. I'm using um, some scrap yarn. This is baby yarn left over from a baby sweater I made years ago. Um, so it's also fingerling yarn or sock yarn. So it's a thinner yarn. Okay. So first we are going to start by crossing our yarn and we are going to chain 28. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Okay. And then we're going to do two more to get up to our next level. So that'll be a 30 total. Then we're going to start Sorry, we did 28, we're gonna do 29, and then we're gonna go into the second, and we're gonna do single crochets all across until we have 28 single crochets. Do that and meet me back. Okay, so you should have 28 stitches, not counting that chain one at the beginning, okay? So now we are going to chain three, one, two, three. It does not count as a stitch. And we're going to skip our first one and go into our second one, okay? Second stitch. And we're doing a double crochet. Okay. Now we're going to do another double crochet, but we're going back to the one we skipped. Okay. And we're doing a double crochet there. Okay. So now we're going to do the same thing. So we're skipping our next, our next one. We're going to the one after that. Okay. And then we're going to go back and get the one we skipped. So what we're doing is we're making little crosses. See? With a nice little space. And this is a really nice pattern to do with the variegated yarn. Sometimes I find it hard to decide which one to do with variegated yarn, which pattern. But this is a very nice pattern to do with the variegated yarn. And we're just going to do this all the way to the end of the row. That's why we made sure that we had an even number because as you can see, this pattern is in twos. So do this all the way to the other end and meet me back. Okay, so you've done the two rows. Now that is the pattern, okay? So your next row, you're going to do a single crochet and the row after that, you're going to do the cross double crochet. Okay. So we're going to make this until it measures about four and a half inches. Okay. So we're going to go to four and a half inches. So you work on it until it measures about that. You want to end with the single crochet row. Okay. And then meet me back four and a half inches. Okay, so I'm at four and a half inches. Now I finished with my single crochet row. I'm going to chain one. Okay, now we're going to single crochet six. 
one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to skip four. One, two, three, four. We're going to single crochet in the next one. We're going to single crochet eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to skip four. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to go in there. We're going to do six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We're going to make a big loop. We're going to cut our yarn. And we are now going to hide all our threads. You'll see I had a few breaks here, so I'm going to hide my threads. And then I'll show you how to sew it up. Okay? So, hide your threads. Meet me back. Okay. So I've hidden all my threads and this is the wrong side face and the way I can tell it's the wrong side is you see how my bottom kind of curls under? Right side facing has it kind of curl up. See that? Okay. So um, we want the right side facing itself and we're going to fold it over in half. We're going to take out our tape measure and we're going to measure two and a half inches up and then we're going to put a marker. Okay. Okay. So I want to sew up to there. Now I'm going to take a length of yarn, put it on my darning needle. And I don't know if you've noticed, but I am working outside today. It's a beautiful day, and so I just couldn't be working inside. So now I'm going to start at the bottom edge. I'm going to put a couple of whip stitches here. And then I'm just going to, I put two in the same spot because the edges are always where the most tugging and pulling happens. And I'm just going to sew up the sides now, all the way up to my marker. Okay. When I get to the other side, and again, I'm just doing whip stitches all the way up to my marker. Hope I'm in frame. I can't really see because I have a lot of reflections out here. I just had an ambulance go by, so I waited to record until that guy had finished going by. Okay, I'm to my marker. I'm going to take my marker out and just do a couple more stitches. Okay, so two more stitches here because again, this is where the most tugging will happen when you're putting it on and off Barbie. Now I'm going to do a knot. So I go in, I make a loop. See my loop here? I'm going to go through my loop once, going through my loop twice, and then I'm going to pull that tight. Okay. 
and you never cut where you're not. And you see how I've kind of tubed this out now? I'm just gonna go back down these stitches. And I didn't cut where I knotted. I'm gonna cut here. And then on the other side, I'm just gonna hide the thread like I did with all the others. If you wanted to put a knot in this end, you could too. So just to recap the knot, you go through, you make a loop, you go through once, you go through twice, and then you pull tight. Never cut where you knot. Go up a few stitches. Okay. And then you can cut. Okay. So now, this is where I have my fun new tool I just bought myself. So we're going to turn it inside in. And here we go. We basically have our dress. So, now what you're going to do is you can sew on a snap. Now, I get these from, you know, these I bought at a hardware store. But you can get them in the sewing section of a department store. Or you can get them in the sewing section of your craft store. So you can use these. Or I got a snazzy new tool. I got one of these puppies. So... I'm going to pause here and figure it out. I got this with some white snaps that go with it. And these you just punch through. So I'm going to figure this out. I had to get an adapter as well to go with it. Of course, you know, you have to do all of those things. So I'm going to figure this out and I'll be right back and I'll show you how to put this on. So to use my snap pliers, you're going to need the um, different pieces. So I'm going to put a snap at the top. So I'm going to make sure that it's where I want it to sit. Okay. And then I'm going to poke through that pokey thing. I'm going to sit it in the pliers. And then it, it doesn't matter if you use the inner or the outer part you're gonna put it on and you're gonna use your pliers and you're gonna attach okay oh yeah and there we go and then you're gonna go to your other side put it where you want it poke your part through put it on Make sure you've got the smooth part in the bowl and squeeze tight. And there we go. We just put a snap on the Barbie dress. Okay, easy peasy. Take it apart. Now let's put Barbie in her new dress. Watch those thumbs. Those thumbs always catch on the yarn. There we go. Pull it up. And then do up your snap. Whoops. Come on now. Pull it up. Do up the snap. And there we go. There is your Barbie dress. Isn't she pretty? So I hope you like this video. Hit the like and subscribe. And uh, watch for a new video every Thursday. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye now.